we're going straight to the point. If you have whole player Croy, the epic one, is it worth it for you to spend to upgrade him? I mean, of course, on paper, this looks better. I think he's got more speed and another ability. If you think the difference is worth it, by all means. But if you generally don't buy coins often, I think you're good. Some people even are happy with the D plane forward one. Now, probably a meta guy would tell you whole player is better and he would be right. But remember, some people are actually making D plane forward players work too. Not everybody's meta, not everybody uses the same system over and over, and not everybody's good at meta because they don't use the same system over and over. So when it comes to Cruyff, I mean, he's obviously good. I think he's the best out of the pack. But if I judge this pack based on the meta of the game, I would say it's one out of three. One out of three. Especially his technique being ball carrying, increases his speed, balance, dribble and tight position, make him even better. And the fact he can play five different positions. Now, the main purpose of this is actually talking about Raul and Forlan. Let's start with Forlan. He's like a final touch striker, really. Super elusive, touch, turn, boom. Cut back, tap, and boom. I mean, let's be honest. If you face anybody on top 100, 9 out of 10 goals are cut back, tap, and. I'm not saying it's in a bad way. It's just a fact. So when you have somebody like this, he's not going to be that agile for him to make that quick turn most of the time. So I wouldn't say he's meta, neither Raul. I mean, you're talking about a striker who's elusive with high awareness and finishing, but he's not fast, physically not strong, not a good dribbler. On this game, when it comes to strikers, if he isn't fast, if he doesn't have high 90 speed acceleration and balance, it's almost become useless unless it's like, you have some real-life emotional attachment to it. Most of us buy legend packs because they are players we used to love watching football, watching them, or old players we used to play PES with. Not every time we go for certain packs because they're OP and broken. So, and I've been testing them in many different ways. I even went for extreme speed. The best balanced way to train them has to be, you have to calculate the boost, of course, I don't, I don't want to make this very long to talk about how you train players. That's a separate thing. But if you understand player ability combined with skill, these are basics, you know? Got a video explaining that. Beyond that, dude, unless you're a big fan of Forlan, I don't think it's worth it for you to open this pack. For Cruyff, yes. But you may get Cruyff with 10 packs, or you may get him with 50 packs, or you can go over 100 pack, you don't get Cruyff. He could be the last player in there. This role is interesting because he's a whole player. Again, he's a little bit more nimble and more agile than Forlan, but he's not that fast. And trust me, even when it comes to top top players, even they train players very differently. I speak about uh, Leva, the Japanese uh, number one pro player. He hardly gives his strikers finishing. He just focuses on speed, acceleration, balance, technique, control. Most of the strikers go like 85 finishing because he doesn't do anything. Like he doesn't shoot from range. He doesn't waste these chances. Most goals are scored in the six yard box. Whether it's a turn tapping, first time pass, first time through ball, first time finish. So when you train certain players certain way, you have to play certain way as well. And let's be honest. Yes, it can say one trick pony or repetitive, but this is like the Bruce Lee quote and I'm turning it into your football. You're going to be more dangerous using one one tactic a thousand times rather than playing a thousand different tactics. Personally, I can never do that, you know? <laughs> I get bored of using the same system. I wish I didn't. And I know winning now, it's never boring. I've, so far in the past three days, I've trained Raul in five different ways. I'm trying to figure out how I can make Raul a little bit more explosive. He's got good runs. Remember, whole player is not active as a CF. SS, SS and AMF and LMF. I don't even think he's active as a left wing forward unless they've changed it. So unless you have some emotional or real life attachment to it, there are standard cards and free cards can do a better job than Raul when it comes to meta of the game. But also some people need to be fair. I don't review everything based on the meta. This is not FIFA. There is a middle ground on eFootball in a way. You know what I mean, it's not like trash and OP. There is a middle ground.
you could be facing somebody who absolutely annihilate you in, in one match with Raul. But if you face, I'll give you an example. If you face somebody who plays 4-2-3-1 long ball counter, defense on two fullback, three narrow strikers, that is the most pain in the ass setup. Because in transition, is almost like five at the back. And if, if that guy only plays that system for thousands of games, your Raul can't do anything for you. In fact, even your Mpape can't do anything for you. Sometime in games like that, a player like Haaland can do a difference, for instance. Instead of having a dribbler. So, my final verdict on both of them, dude. I mean, the reason why I didn't make a video about it or speak about it, I thought it was obvious. None of these. And I usually don't go... For me, it's not just... It's either meta or trash. You know what I mean? There is a middle ground. And I know many people... Forlan is their top scorer. If you watch my early videos, Forlan was my top scorer. Because I usually liked my strikers to have... If he's not a good dribbler, then he has to be physically strong. But when he's not physically strong or fast or a good dribbler, almost like it become a final touch. Unless you're one of those players will always aim for a cutback tapping goals, then Forlan could work. It's like an elegant version of Mpapi in a way. It doesn't have the speed, but that elusiveness, that move is definitely different. Bonez plays on PC, right? And he usually makes the top 100 easily. His best striker is Forlan. But PC is very different. I feel like the ball is like a balloon on PC. I agree, Raul is neither. He's just for people who like him. That's it, man. I'm not really that torn about Raul. I already gave him three skills. I'm trying to decide who I give the skills to. I don't think he's going to stay. So... Just a quick highlight for those of you guys on YouTube, just quickly talking about this to answer some of these questions about these players. Uh, this is my opinion on it. If you disagree with Raul and Forlan, you may be that unique particular player that Raul is your top scorer, right? If you're the type of player that makes Raul effective in one phase, you make it to Division One, you keep at least 60% win, and your best striker is Raul, that that means you're just good with players like Raul, for instance. He's not terrible, but my point is it's not worth going spending for Raul or for Lan. But if you like them in real life, a lot of players, they're good. Most of these epics are like 100 rated. Just because they're 100 rated doesn't necessarily mean they're all good. And that's my opinion on it, man. What do you guys think here? Those of you guys on YouTube, comment down below.